How to make a fairy necklace. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Supplies 20 or 22 gauge wire wire cutters, flat or bent nose pliers, round nose pliers crystal or beads of your choice, any add-ons charms or chains, jump rings and finishing clasp. Cut a lot of wire to make your chain links. They should be about 4 inches. Take a piece of wire and your round nose pliers and put the pliers a little above the middle of the wire. I put the wire near the end of the pliers for a smaller loop and then bend the wire towards myself at a 90 angle. Your plier placement should look like this. Now move the pliers like this. Now take the piece of wire that is facing towards you and bend it around the top piece of plier. Now take your wire and put the loop on the bottom piece of the pliers. Now, take the piece of wire you bent before and bend it towards yourself again. You are forming a loop. Take the loop off of your pliers and get your flat nose pliers. Put the loop in the pliers so you can hold it and then wrap the piece of wire around to secure the loop. I wrap it three times, but you can do more or less. Cut off the leftover wire. I put the wire back into the flat nose pliers so I don't hurt my fingers while I flatten the cut off wire down so it's not poking out. Now put whatever crystal or bead you want on the wire. Get your round nose pliers again and don't put them too close to the bead. You won't have any room and don't put it too far away from the bead because you will leave too much room. This is where I usually put my pliers. Now, just repeat the previous steps you did. Bend the wire towards you at a 90 angle. Move the pliers. Bend the wire around the top piece of pliers. Move the loop to the bottom piece and wrap the wire back towards you. Wrap the wire around however many times you want. Cut off the excess wire and flatten it down. Now you have one link. These become easier to make the more you practice. Now make a bunch of chain links. Once you think you have enough, get your jump rings. I use 4mm size jump rings, but you can use bigger. Put two of your chain links on the jump ring and close it. Take another jump ring and add it to the end of the two you just connected, and then add another link and close the jump ring. Keep connecting all the links together and once you are finished, you can measure to see if you need to make more or take some off. Once you have your desired length, add your lobster clasp to one end and a jump ring to the other end to finish it off. If you have an uneven amount of links, the middle of your necklace will be a link rather than a jump ring. If that's the case, you will have to add a chain to each end of that link to add a charm. To make it easier, I just add one extra link so I have an even amount and can hook my charm to the middle jump ring like this. Now, you can start adding chains, charms, or whatever you want to your necklace. There is no right or wrong way to make these necklaces. Use your creativity. If you add something and end up not liking it, change it. I switched the charm because I felt like the snake didn't match the vibe. And that's pretty much it. The necklace I made is more basic, but you can add as many chains or charms as you want. I hope this tutorial was helpful.